Hey everybody, what's up? OCD Mikey, another edition of the Mikey Show. I'm uh, at I'm doing this on location. Um, I'm here at at a clinic with my father. He's getting cancer treatment. Um, so if you if you if your parents are still around, give them a big hug uh, and give them lots of love. Um, we don't get to be with them forever. Anyways, uh, so getting into the the message of the day, the message. Um, this is going to be part six of hi-fi uh, truths and just kind of cutting through the BS and getting to it. And here's one that is um, a good one to remember. The message here is that you can never judge a product by listening to it in the first, you know, immediately, uh, or in, even in the first day, even in the first three days usually. Um, you need at least a couple weeks with anything to determine if it's working for you or if it sounds good or not. Now, if it's used, it's a little shorter, okay? Because it, it's presumably broken in. Um, what I'm getting at is you need to break in things, uh, gear, before you get an idea of what they really sound like. Speakers absolutely so obvious that those need break in, it's not even funny. Amplifiers, DACs, everything else needs break in too. The playback design stack that I sell, needs 500 hours of break-in and I mean even Andreas lists out he tells you at what hour you're gonna hear what he says around 100 hours you're gonna hear this around 200 hours you're gonna hear this and he's exactly right that's exact I mean I, I, I listened to it and I heard it go through those changes and a lot of times the gear can get better and then get worse it can wax and wane it doesn't just pro progressively always only get better uh, from the time you uh, initially get it, uh, many times it will it will go forward and back. It will get better, then it'll get worse, and it'll get better, then it'll get worse, and then all of a sudden one day it locks in, and you're like, and it's a whole new level. You're like, wow, I can't believe it. So um, you know, keep that in mind when you are uh, when you're listening to stuff. The other thing too to remind to remember is that when you are um, uh, 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 reading a review of somebody, if these guys just take this stuff in and they've, they, they, they just get their new piece, man, and they rotate through them like all the time, um, in, in a short order, you know, how, how are they supposed to even know what, what it sounds like? Typically in, in, in my circles of the, of the, I would say the steeped audiophiles, guys that are cuckoo about this stuff that have been doing it for so long, um, we say a month, you know, you have to live with something for a month. And we always say, you know, take it out. And that's how you determine if it's good. It's not when you put it in, you determine if it's good. It's when you take it out and you go back to your old thing. That's how we determine how good it is. After you take it out, do you miss it? You know, was it a big change? Did it get a lot worse? Um, even reminds me of uh, when I was, when I do shows with Mark Levinson and we would be showing stuff and he's been doing this forever. He would, he told me, he said, you always start with, the um the whatever you're demoing you start with it first you don't start with the um say let's say you have the good piece and the bad piece right if, if we're just doing it that way you don't start with the bad piece and then go to the good piece you always start with the good piece and then you pull it out and then go to the bad piece that's always how you demo when you're showing people stuff so it's the same when you're at home you, you want to listen to your gear, let it break in, give it weeks, man. You can't tell that same day. If there's one thing, okay, so let me, let me put it this way. With my company, my return policy, you have to have it for 30 days, okay? I won't make a return until after 30 days um, because you need to break it in, and I need to make sure you're breaking it in. Um, and, and, you know, if, if, if something mechanically doesn't work or physically or whatever, that's, that's a different case. But if it's a sonic thing, you need 30 days to let it settle in, let it settle into your rig, let it break in, and then you can get a true idea of what it sounds like and, 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 and if it's going to work or not. But to try and make that decision right away, it's, it's too soon. It's too soon. You can't you can't make a snap decision on whether something works or not. All the way down to especially with cables. Cables absolutely need break in. Um, and and you know it's not about getting your ears used to the shitty sound. If that's what you're thinking right now, oh he just means you got to leave it in there so you get used to the shittier sound or whatever like that. That's ridiculous. 
because in the end, after the 30 days or after your two weeks at the minimum, you're, you're gonna pull it out and then listen to what you had previously and uh, and then compare and you'll know, you'll know when you take it out. So if it, if it really, if you really were just only hearing something that, that was crappy that you got all of a sudden got accustomed to, uh, you'll hear it when you pull it out. So it's a pretty short and sweet message um, I don't have to elaborate on it. it. It's a simple idea. You can't judge anything right away. Nothing. And and people will do that. They'll put it in. Oh, no, this doesn't work. And you're like, dude, I've had people call me up. And this is why I had to make that policy. I have people call me up. They go, oh, yeah, I just received the package. They confirm they got it. And that same afternoon, they call back. Oh, man, you know, this isn't, you know, it, 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 it doesn't sound like I expected or, or whatever. I mean, it's it's very few but I had that happen twice, and when they do that, I'm like, okay, you know, now it's a policy. You got to hold it for 30 days, and then I'll make. I'm happy to make any any refund. It's not that I'm not trying to make a refund. I'm very good at that. You can ask anybody who's done business with me. Um, it's that it's that you need to do it properly, and I teach people how to do this properly, not how to just throw it in for a second and then try and make a, a judgment call and then get the next thing and throw that in for a second and then make a judgment call. Um, and you know what? In, 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 in the reverse, it also means uh, for something that you throw in, and, and this is something that I learned as well, that sounds great immediately. You can't trust that. Okay, You need to let that settle in and make sure that you're not just you know, having a knee-jerk reaction to something new. So it goes both ways. Um, you know where where you so you don't want to make any judgment call whether it's good or bad you don't want to make the judgment call immediately because you just simply can't that product is going to change in the way it sounds especially if it's new um if it's not new it's going to need several days to settle in and become you know you know uh, settled into your rig but other than that it's like um you know you need to take your time and listen to that stuff so i just wanted to make that point real quick uh, I think it's an important one to remember is that you can't make fast judgment calls on how things sound. They must, and, and, and especially if they're cold, everything sounds horrible when it's cold. Amplifiers especially. If you just plug them in, you just turn them on, they've been on for five minutes and you start listening, they're going to sound horrible. You need at least 20 minutes to half an hour for solid state stuff or, or for certain circuits. And, and certain other things like the Viola Labs, man, I need hours and hours. Usually 12, I like to leave it on over all the time I leave it on. I never turn it off. So it's always in, in, in that warm operating envelope of temperature um, because it'll stabilize. You know, there's, there's things that happen. And when, when heat hits an amplifier or any of, of these uh, pieces of electronics, it changes their electrical properties. So it, it, it will drift and change until it gets into its prime stable operational temperature and so you know you also can't judge things immediately when you turn them on uh, even if they've been there forever uh, and, and you've had them in your rig you have to let the things warm up so I just wanted to uh, again bring that to your attention so that we're clear it's a quick quick video and thanks for joining I will see you soon see you